<laughs> well, we can't turn once it's down. Once it's braced, you cannot turn, so... You better get it right the first time. Ah! Oh! My feet are... F they're wet! <laughs> How did they get so wet? Did we step in some water? Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here. At the end of the last episode in the camp office. After having completed the Lake Gunshots mystery, we're now getting prepared to head out to the Muskeg and follow up with the main quest. Looking for specific parts at the radio towers for, um, for Jeremiah. And we are going to be harried by the big hungry bear most likely the entire way as far as I know. And from what you guys have been telling me in the comments is to be prepared for several fights or at least close encounters with this bear um, along the way. We have to hit the southwest tower, the north tower, and the southeast tower and find transponder parts from each of these towers. So here's the map. Well, this is our map. Uh, yeah, we're right here. we got to get over to the forlorn muskeg. So these things are all spread out, of course. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> We're going to have to cover a lot of ground, and it sounds like it's a pretty windy day out there. Um, so, just waiting for the sun to come up a little bit more. Um, I do have a configuration here. I've dropped all of my really good gear right down here on the ground. As you can see, it's all just waiting for us for our return, like the Mukluks and my Kawishin sweater and my nice Mackinac. So, I have um, I've put on... Some of the spare clothing that we have because my understanding is once we get when we get into a fight with this bear he's gonna tear everything up of course so we're gonna have to make sure that we have um some nice clothes to come back to i don't want to have to deal with that i'm gonna grab some of this cloth too i've been uh salvaging a lot of the cloth here stuff that i can find got some mittens there too but i don't have any with me for spares, we've got a couple of cured leather here and some cloth that we can use to make some uh, repairs. Um, where's more? I think I can rip up. Let's rip up these mittens right here. Can we rip up the mittens? Uh, Ten minutes for one share. Rip them up. This will give the sun a little more time to rise and it will warm up outside a little bit. Wow, we can even rip up the curtains. Huh. Um, why don't we do that? Sure, eight minutes for two cloth. I have a feeling we're going to need this, and I don't think we're going to be able to find much cloth at the muskeg. There really is nothing at the muskeg. It's just a wasteland. There is one stop we will make, because I do have a couple of spare things, like I want to drop this. I'm going to bring this along. I've got an extra hatchet here, just in case. And I think that's it. Because sometimes when you get in a fight, um, you drop gear. And those two things in particular are very important. So, yeah, I think we're ready to go. By the way, we're, we're almost ready to make our wolf skin coat. We need four cured wolf pelts. We've got three so far, and these two are 81%. They should be done by the time we get back. We've got plenty of guts here cured and ready to roll out, too. And we'll make that thing uh, upon our return. Should we survive this encounter? That is, I don't know. All right, let's get the rifle out, which of course isn't going to help us against this demon bear, but it will keep the wolves at bay at least, right? So let's boogie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little windy. Well, it's a lot windy, but it's sunny. Although look at the temperatures, three down arrows. <laughs> you can visibly see the gauge dropping as we're walking. Through this wind, holy cow. Yeah, I mean, this clothing is not the best, but it's gonna have to do. I, I just don't want, like I said, I don't want our good stuff to get ruined. Although this could be a really short trip. Holy cow. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop at the, um, at that poacher's camp, the train car, and maybe get a little fire going and warm up again. Hopefully this passes, whatever it is. Just a cold day. It's interesting, though, with the sun shining, it's still freezing. All right, well, we're going to run as much as we can. Of course, it had to be the coldest day, didn't it? It's Murphy's Law. The one day we're going to be out in the wilderness at the Muskeg, 
for an entire day. And it is a triple down arrow cold. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, great. Here comes a wolf. And I think he sees us. And I don't even care. I'm just going to take him out right now. Oh, boy. Come on. Come at us straight. Come on. Straight. Straight. That's not straight. Thank you. Sheesh. All right. We can't do anything with him. It's too cold. Let's go. Down to 25 rounds for our rifle here. Hopefully, we don't run into 25 wolves. <laughs> I left a lot of ammunition behind. I just didn't think we we're going to need it. We do have our spear, right? I don't think you can drop the spear. Yeah, it's there. It's not an actual item in, uh, inventory item that you can shuffle around or drop. It's just, it just magically appears when you need it. All right. It's nice and warm in the tunnel here. The mess keg we go. Aha! Nothing. Okay. I was expecting a bear attack. In fact, maybe we should just keep this spear out. I think it works against wolves too, doesn't it? So to aim it, you just hold down your left mouse button. It does drain stamina, so you can't you can't brace it like that for very long. So I guess you have to charge it. You have to time it right for the charge. We don't have a lot of time. Let's time it right now. Yeah, I got like three seconds, if that. Maybe two. <laughs> we gotta freeze to death before we get a single transponder. This is crazy. Yeah, we picked the wrong day for this. Maybe we should have stayed behind, waited for those pelts to cure. And I think it takes 24 hours just to make that wolfskin coat. Maybe tomorrow would have been a nicer day. You never can you tell. Do they? They look fine. And you didn't put your ski gloves on, Will. I told you. That's what happens. We're almost there. Almost there. Hold on, buddy. Oh my gosh. I do have two emergency stims, but... Oh my gosh. Come on, Will. <laughs> this is a little too close for comfort here, buddy. He's gonna pass right out on the train tracks. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. You can do it. It's right there. Sprint! The last sprint! Get in there! Okay, gun down. It's still cold. Get that fire started. We have accelerant and go! <sighs> that was close. Now, I don't have a lot of wood. I only brought two pieces of reclaimed. I'm gonna hang on to that one. Maybe one reclaimed wood will um, get us back to maximum. Oh, I got some right here. Fantastic! We do have a little extra stuff. Oh, look at that. We have coal here, too. Awesome. All right, yeah. So, let's, uh... Let's dump out the spare knife we don't need to carry around and the extra hatchet. Can opener. I don't think we're gonna need that. Where we're heading. Rifle cleaning kit. We'll come back for all this later, obviously. All right, I'm gonna grab one cedar wood and throw it on here. Got some music. And we're going to make some tea. Uh, coffee, rather. So we can warm up. Alright, got some hot Joe. Down the hatch. That'll hydrate. And it'll also um, give us a warming up benefit. And decrease our fatigue a little bit. Alright, well we're pretty warm now. This has another hour to go. But there's really no reason to stick around. So let's um, let's see where the nearest tower is. We've got a cache down here, too. Let's hit the north tower first. And then we can come back to the poacher's camp if we need to warm up again. So that is to the north. Let's boogie. Oh, the weather's much nicer now. There's no wind. So we only have one little down arrow. Of course, that's because of the warming up benefit, but hopefully uh, we can make it to this tower and back. Now, we're going to have to deal with weak ice. So, oh, I can see the tower from here. So, let's head straight toward it, which probably is a trap, but we'll try anyway. Well, visibility is good, at least. So, if the bear comes, maybe we'll see him coming. I doubt it. I think it's all part of, like, cutscenes. 
Right, I don't see any wolves around, so I am going to get the spear out. We have to be ready to brace it. We don't need to sprint right now. We should be able to make it to the tower, get the transponder, and back to the poacher's camp before freezing to death. Oh boy, can we cross this right here? Easy. Slowly. Ah, sweet guys, run back. Uh. And as soon as I mention the lovely visibility, then the fog rolls in, doesn't it? Everything is conspiring against us here. The wildlife. The weather. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't see hide or hair of any bear right now, but that doesn't mean he's not watching us from somewhere in this fog. And he's gonna spring! Right when we least expect it. Oh! Oh boy. This is really steep here. I don't think I can get up. Are you kidding me? Too steep. Oh, dang it. Gotta be another way. Fatigue reduced expired and I think our warming up benefit expired too oh there it goes <laughs> but that's okay because the weather right now has leveled off it's actually warm it's actually warm fantastic all right keep your eyes open for that bear if you see him just tap me on the shoulder please let me know I hope there's a path here I don't see any obvious way up, but this looks like it. The most obvious, anyway. Now, put that spear down. Too soon. Too soon. Can we climb up this, Will? Oh. Oh, it just saved. The game saved. You know what that means, don't you? <laughs> That's a dead giveaway. <laughs> We're about to be attacked. Ambushed. I hear him. We are about to be ambushed by the bear. All right, eyes open. Eyes and ears open, people. Eyes and ears open. Go ahead and practice. <laughs> okay. We got this. We got this. Nothing behind. I think I heard something, though. Oh. Wait, that could be a wolf. That sounds like a wolf. Oh, please. We don't want to deal with a wolf right now. We don't have time. Ah, oh, there is a wolf. Oh, man. There's lots of wolves here. Holy cow. All right. We're just going to have to shoot this dude and get him out of the way. He might not even bother with us anyway. Dude, we do not have time for you. I totally missed. <laughs> That's just a warning shot. I don't want to shoot him in the butt. I feel bad. He's coming back. He's got to go back for his meal. Shortwave tower ahead. All right. Dude. Nope. Oh. Look at this. It's another way up. Cool. Hey, run at me. I want to try this spear. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can't turn once it's down. Once it's braced, you cannot turn. So you better get it right the first time. Ah. Holy cow. This thing is crazy. Doesn't like getting shot at, apparently. All right, like, can we just do this? Added transponder parts. All right. We got some metal containers here, too. What have we here? Nuts and such. And that crazy wolf. Uh, ragged fleece mesh here. What is he doing? That thing is crazy, all right. <laughs> what is this bin over here? I'm going to go check it out. The supply bin. All right, I don't trust that wolf. I mean, he's freaking. This will come in. Painkillers, bandages, and flares, and cloth, and crunchy stuff. I knew it. All right, let's have some crunchy stuff while we're here. This granola bar. Nothing to drink in there, though. I guess it would have been frozen. Wow, dude, just settle down. I didn't even shoot you. Go, go eat your meal. All right, that bear's coming now. Let's get out of here. I know he's coming. 
feel it. I feel the build up. I feel the build up. Hold on. Let's see. Where should we go now? There's the Aurora hatches right here, but we can't get in unless there's an Aurora. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the left. Oh boy! When they bark at you like that, that means they're coming for you. But we got the high ground here. I will not miss twice. Up we go. Is he done freaking? And he's done freaking out. He's not hunting us either, I don't think. Is he? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Get that spear out. I don't think there's a shortcut key for the spear. Maybe there is. I don't know. All right. Let's boogie. Get out of dodge before that bear shows up. Ah! What is that? Stump! It's a deadly stump. Deadly stalking stump. Trying to stalk me. Bye, stump. Okay, we're going to follow this river right out of here. Is this a river? Oh, I probably don't want to be up on the rocks. Dang it. I go to the rocks naturally just because it's high ground, but getting down isn't always that convenient. Yeah, we can follow this right on out of here to the next tower, southwest tower. So that must have been a, uh, a red herring when the game said, oh, Hat Creek. New location, Hat Creek. Is there a hat around here? Something that looks like a hat? Maybe somebody lost a hat? I always wonder how places get their names. Some of the stories are very interesting. <laughs> hat Creek, huh? We have a dead man's creek near me. And, uh, well, there was a dead man found in it one time, and that's how it got its name. Don't like not being able to see over these ridges with a spear in my hand. Because I really feel like the wolves are out there. And I want to have the rifle in my hand, but... And again, I feel like that bear is just going to come charging, and we're not going to have time to switch weapons. So, we'll just take our chances, and I guess we can try to use the spear on a wolf. Could be good practice, maybe. Assuming that it works at all. <laughs> yeah, we've been to this blind, so I don't think we need to go back over there. My guess is this ice right here is weak. And I don't really want to take a chance on it. How are we doing for time? I think the sun is now starting to go down. But we have plenty of daylight left. Plenty of time to get this done. Uh, why are these birds flying at us? What do you know that I don't know? Keep flying. Just keep going. Alright, good birds. <laughs> they do tend to fly over corpses, don't they? Trying to get a bite to eat. Looks like they were coming right at us there. Maybe a little bit premature. Um, am I going to really... Are we going to do this, Will? Are we going to do this? Don't break anything. Okay. Very good. Over the rail and through the woods to Southwest Tower we go. All right. Almost there. Not really. I guess I could sprint a little, but... If we do, we're going to lose stamina. And I'm afraid we're going to need all of our stamina when the time comes. When that bear attacks. Oh, what is this then? That doesn't look right. Looks like a trap. Should we go? Yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Let's go check it out. There's got to be something over there. Hopefully it's not big and hungry and toothy and clawy and angry. Alright, be on your guard. Get that spear ready. I'm hoping this just loops around back toward the tower. I don't want to have to come all the way back out again. Perfect place for a bear to ambush if you ask me. Your eyes open, Will. All right, nothing. 
What's that? All that deadfall up there. Hmm, that looks very suspicious. I wonder if there's, um... Are there other bunkers, hidden bunkers, in the story mode? I mean, we know we have that one Aurora hatch, but I'm curious if there's others around. I think we might want to stop here and have a bite to eat and something to drink. How about some... How about a chocolate bar? All right. It really didn't fill us up, but... Sure was tasty. Sounds like that wolf's getting closer. That overhang wasn't very interesting, unless there's something up by that deadfall. I don't know. Again, let's just stay focused here. <laughs> One thing at a time. I suppose I should be looking for caves and other landmarks out here. Is this like a big crack? No. Not a big crack. Oh, I see. I see birdies. You know what that means, don't you? Somebody or something dead. There's a lot of wolf action going on behind us. What is this then? Flare. Um, I don't think we need any flares. How many flares do we have? Where's the flares at? We got two. We don't need any flares. The flare's not going to help us against the bear. Or against anything, really. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, this doesn't look like a very good way to go. Oh, wait, the tower's right here. It's right here on the right. How do we get up there? I can't get up on top of this ice. Oh, gosh. Can we do this? I guess so. I guess if we just hug the wall here. Oh, what's that over there? Is that, um, oh, that's the, what is this place again? Old Spence family. Ah, wait, guys. Get back. Dang it. Can't go that way. Can't go that way unless we make a run for it, but we don't know how far that that ice goes, the weak ice. Oh, rats. Well, let's go check the body over here, whatever the heck it is, and then we're going to have to go around. We're going to have to go the long way. It's on the menu. Yeah. All right. Not my menu. Yeah, I think we screwed up here. The thing is right there. How the heck do we get up there? Uh, oh boy. This is not looking good. We might have to backtrack. See if we can get across this. Uh, frostbite? What are you talking about? I'm not even cold. How do we have frostbite? Cover up afflicted area. What are you talking about? Oh! My feet are... F they're wet! <laughs> How did they get so wet? Did we step in some water? Look at this! Completely solid ice! I don't know when that happened. I never noticed. Ah, oh, drat. I don't know. I don't know when that happened, but we're gonna have to do something about it. We gotta take care of Will's feet. He needs them. I think we're going to have to head back to the poacher's camp and warm those feet up. Probably should have done that after the first tower. Alright, we have to get back. We just don't have the time. Not with Will's feet frozen solid as they are. I, yeah, now look at the fog. I, I, I can't even see where the tower is anymore. Or any trails leading up to it. But there's no time to ponder that conundrum. We just gotta get out of here. We just gotta get back right now and get these feet warmed up and the shoes and socks dried. How much time do we have here? Okay, we still have time. <laughs> There's a gauge on that affliction. Wow, I can't see anything here. I can barely see 20 yards ahead. We could be running right into the jaws of a bear or a wolf <laughs> and I wouldn't even know it. Still trying to get around all this weak ice, too. Hold on there, Will. I'm gonna warm up those toesies, buddy. Oh! That's a wolf! I hear him! Good thing he growled, because I couldn't see him. Oh, boy! Come at me straight, bro! Woo! Keeping it real, Wolfie, thanks. Keeping it real. 
Right, is this, uh, dead ahead? Dead ahead to the tracks and take a right. Oh boy. I don't think we're supposed to be out here. Can we get across this? Hey, no! Dang it! Alright, we gotta go this way then. Shoot! I just wanna go home! I wanna go back to camp office where it's nice and cozy and safe. What is this red thing over here? Is that blood or mittens? Gloves. Ski gloves. Somebody skiing out here? Now, I've been told that you can warm up with um, a flare. I tried that before and it did not work. It did not work. And I don't think it's going to help our frozen feet anyway. The feet are frozen. They're wet. We've got to dry them. There's nothing we can do about that right now. Uh, that's a lot of ice. That's a lot of ice. We can go around. All right, let's check that affliction. Ooh, okay, we still have time. Still have time. Don't panic. And don't sprint the whole way and, and run out of stamina there, Will. Will's panicking. I'm trying to take control here. Don't panic, Will. We got it. Just take your time. Slow and steady wins the race. Man, this day turned out to be a real doozy, didn't it? Started out at triple down arrow coldness. And then the feet froze. <laughs> and now the fog rolled in. And we were so close to that tower, I just couldn't figure out how to get up there. But that's alright, we'll warm up, we'll go back. Tower's not going anywhere, right? As far as I know. Let's grab some burnable material here. I know there's a few logs and things, but... Might as well use what we can while it's here. Uh, all right, we're going to take a left at Elibakoiki. I don't like this music. It's very somber and sad. It's like funeral music. We're not dead yet. We cut it out now. With that music game. What do we have here? Mm-mm-mm. Delish. Should we uh, cut some up and bring some home to eat? How much time do we have? I think we can. Let's try it. Let's grab a couple of slabs of meat here. Eight minutes. We can spare eight minutes. Don't you fall asleep right now, Will. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that food. Alright, we're almost there. Almost there. I can smell it. Gonna take off these shoes and socks. Put them by the fire. Dry them out. And we should be good to go. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. Get your breath back there, Willy boy. Just about there. Of course, with the fog, you can't see a darn thing, but pretty sure we're heading in the right direction. Thank goodness for that arrow on the map. Cause without that, I'd be totally lost. In survival mode? Yeah, we'd be dead by now, guaranteed. Okay, I see a power line. Yay, and I see some rail. Let's just follow it right to that poacher's camp. Did we pass the darn thing? Yeah, we did. Couldn't help it. Just twisting and turning to try to avoid weak ice. We're gonna make it, Will. Get that fire going. Warm up those little toesies. Alright, you can sprint the rest of the way. If you can, that is. Not quite. Alright, gun down. Get those fingers warmed up to get that fire started, pal. This is a lifesaver right here. 55% chance. Nope, we're going to use some accelerant. And 95, really? Stick, 100%. Yeah! There we go. 100%. Not taking any chances. <laughs> that did it. It did. And just add a bunch of sticks. That thing started. Get that thing started. Reclaim, we're going to hang on to. Okay. Uh, let's check those feats. Yeah, yeah. Frozen solid. Now, why is that? These, um... These boots have a 20% waterproofness, which isn't too bad, to be honest. Nothing else is frozen. Is it because we're walking on the ice? We didn't fall through the ice. Did we? I don't think so. I'm going to take them off and dry them out. Well, they're drying out on his feet anyway, but eh, it's, it's cooler this way. It looks cooler this way. It's more real. It's more real this way. This is what we used to do on our hunting trips and fishing trips. 
And we can look at them right here. Oh, they're frozen. They're not wet. They're actually frozen. <laughs> they're beyond wet. They got wet and then they froze right up. But they're drying out nice and fast. Fantastic. Let's grab one piece of cedar wood here. And toss it on the fire. And that's going to give us a couple of hours. And we'll cook up this meat. Throw it right on there. Some nice venison cooked up. And while we're at it, why don't we make, uh, should we make a coffee or something? Yeah, because we're getting tired and we're not done. I'm not ready for bed yet. So let's go ahead and make up some coffee. Yeah, got a little work to do before bed. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we have a can of pork and beans. Oh, throw that on there. Will it fit? No, it will not fit. We have to wait for the coffee. All right, well, let's pass the time. And drink it. Ah. Alright, and now we're going to cook this uh, dusty pork and beans. Because I don't think that piece of meat right there, that venison, is not going to be enough to fill our belly. To fill Will, Will's belly. Okay, well, the shoes and the socks are thawing out. We got some pork and beans cooking on the fire here, along with some fresh venison. And yeah, we're looking pretty good, although the sun is now going down, the moon is on the rise. We might end up sleeping right here. Um, do we have any coal in here? We might be able to keep a fire going all night. Yeah, six pieces of coal. I bet we can, if we need it. We might not. And then in the morning, we will head out and finish this quest. We're going to go to the Southwest Tower, get the parts that we need there. And then this one over here as well. And then we should be good to go. And then we can head back uh, head back home. Well, the Jerry's anyway. All right, with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. Oh, pork and beans are done. Give them up. Mm. That wasn't very much. <laughs> was it? Yep, that wasn't very much, was it? All right, well, let's go ahead and make a little water, too, while we're here. Um, yeah, so we will pick up right here in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.